Welcome to the Arkansas City High School class of 1971. When the class of 71 returned to school for its senior year in August of 1970, Jim Morrison is tried in Miami for lewd and lascivious behavior. Kurt Flood loses his $41 million antitrust suit with baseball. Patricia Palancas becomes the first woman professional football player. Elton John makes his first U.S. appearance. And the number one song on the chart was War by Edwin Starr. Here at home, a movie ticket to the Burford Theater cost $1.25. And the number one movie showing was Tora, Tora, Tora. And the price of gasoline had gone all the way up to 43 cents a gallon. And at Ark City High School, the seniors were getting ready to begin their senior year, where the mascot Sally was our responsibility and the senior steps was our domain. The student body was about to break in a new principal, Mr. Gary Kirtley. And this year, his assistant principal was Mr. Gary Akers. The teachers were ready to fill our inquisitive minds with knowledge and included Mr. Gary Brown, industrial education. Mrs. Mary Ray Chandler, language arts.
Mrs. Sydney York, Education. After getting the class schedules in order, seniors have the opportunity to pick which activities they want to be involved in. Activities at ACHS included Arc Light. Good Girl Citizen.
If that wasn't enough to keep our students busy, there were always sports. The Bulldog football team was under the direction of head coach Dean Gilstrap and went 5-3-1, and one, tying for third in the Ark Valley League. And who can forget those memorable games at Curry Field and beating arch rivals Wellington and Winfield and the crowning of homecoming queen Julia Mars. Basketball for the Bulldogs was under coach Bill Means and worked through a hard schedule and ended with an 8-8 eight eight record, including two wins over Winfield. The wrestling team came out strong and didn't look back under the leadership of Coach Bunt Spear and Richard Meheran. The Bulldogs ended with a 7-0 dual record and finished second in the state. And three seniors were crowned state champions, including Bill Jamison, two-time champ Mark Jackson, and three-time champion Jim Ramirez. And the homecoming queen for basketball and wrestling was Becky Whitford. Girls Tennis also had a great season with a match record of 71 and 18 under first year head coach Norma Dixon. And the cross country team coached by Ron Helmer thrust its way into the state finals coming away with a sixth place finish. This senior class was a special and unique Gary Bushyhead, Steve F. Campbell,
Cheryl. Katrina Jordan.
Lexi Northcutt. Tom Knuckles. Devin Rock, David Roush, Cindy Shore.
Jerry Waldeck. Randy Waldeck. Dixie Walker. Jancy Walker. Mercy D. Walker. Jan Wareham. Carolyn Washburn. Randy Watson. Tom Weeks. Sandy Wiegland. Virginia Westbrook. Debbie Wheeler. Rick Whipple. Myrtle White. Roger White. Tracy Whitehead. Becky Whitford. Tommy White. Wiley Wilcock. Tom Wilhelm. Sandra Williams. Perry Williams. Tom Williams. Jim Wilson. Ralph Wilson. Steve Wolf. Carol White. And Jerry Young. May 25th, 1971, marked a passing from high school towards adulthood. And as we move forward, let's not forget our years at Ark City and the words of our school song. And there's never sigh or sadness when we turn to memories old and renew those days of gladness neath the purple and the gold. Thank you.